Today on Ridge Roamer, we're continuing to upgrade the Tiger 900. We've already done the skid plate and the engine guards. Now it's time for tank protectors. Now, installation of these is a bit more complicated than the engine guards. The engine guards, very, very simple. These, um, a lot more going on up here, so it's a bit more complicated. But in order to get started, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these lower panels here. And there's a bolt behind there we need to access and remove as well. Since I've got the Pro version with the auxiliary lights, we're also going to unplug those and remove the entire assembly, the whole bracket, because the new tank guards are going to mount to those bolts and then the lights are going to get mounted to the tank guards. So first step, just kind of take it apart a little bit to uh, access everything we need.
here we go. That's it. Uh, by myself took, I don't know, 45 minutes or something like that. Would have been nice to have a little bit of help to hold and stabilize and, and get things lined up, but doable job by yourself. Um, need to have some reasonable amount of tools, you know, your hex, uh, Torx, standard set of sockets, um, but very manageable job. Very, very durable, these things. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm very happy to have them on there. Amazing protection. If I do happen to go down, the bike goes on its side. All of the tank and the plastics and the radiator, everything is now very protected. Uh, super happy with the way that these are designed. Uh, probably have to do a little bit of work adjusting the spotlights, the fog lights there. Uh, once it gets dark, I'll take it outside and get them lined up perfectly, but that should be a very easy job. Looks amazing. The finish is awesome. Again, thank you to the guys at Moto Machines for helping me out with these. I am extremely happy with this whole package from the skid plate to the engine guards to the tank guards. It is phenomenal. I'll take it outside now, get a few uh, better walk around pictures, but definitely beefs up the look of the bike and adds unparalleled protection if something were to happen. So uh, great insurance essentially on uh, a big investment being the motorcycle. I hope this was helpful to you as you investigate what crash bars to get or if you get these, how to install them, different steps that it's going to take. Uh, there's one last thing I need to do and then we'll get it outside, take some pictures. The last item, the satisfaction of peeling off the blue protective film on the label. Top-notch quality. Very, very happy.